Alright, so this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while, but I ended up procrastinating on it for nine months. And also, judging by the poll, a lot of people want me to make this video, so here we go. Now, one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video is that there aren't that many good aiming improvement guides for Minecraft. At best, the information in them is only good for newer players, and at worst, the information in the video may actually make your aim worse. With that out of the way, let's talk sensitivity. Most people in the Minecraft community use 30pi, Windows Sense, and in-game Sense to describe their overall sensitivity. I'll be using centimeters per 360 degree turn instead, as this is a universal sensitivity measurement. If you don't know what yours is, you can go measure it or use a sensitivity calculator. My in-game Sense is 38% and my DPI is 800, and that works out to around 30 centimeters per 360 degree turn if you want a point of reference. I'm talking about this because of the optimal sense range for Minecraft. Going too low isn't a great idea due to the fact that Minecraft combat is close range, but you can't go too high either because you have to click fast while aiming. Now, this will depend on a lot of factors, such as mouse weight, the speed of your mouse pad, and the amount of mouse space you have, but in my opinion, the optimal range is probably between 14 centimeters and 34 centimeters. Don't take this as some absolute measurement, it is a lot more vague than this, but a value between those two will likely be fairly good. I won't tell you what sensitivity to use, you can figure that out for yourself. Again, it depends on the factors I spoke of earlier. And finally, let's get into the methods where you can actually try to improve your aim. Obviously, the simplest way to improve your aim is to just play more. Like, it's very simple. But obviously, game modes such as UHC or Bed Wars, those two have very high downtime in terms of um, combat. Like in UHC, you spend a large portion of the game just mining, and then the, a large portion just hunting players and doing other things that aren't combat. And in Bed Wars, you spend a lot of time traversing the map, making bed defenses or whatever, just doing other just Bed Wars stuff, like bridging. Um, and you don't spend a lot of time fighting players, and so on. That this, 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 this applies to a lot of game modes. Now, this is pretty obvious, but a lot of people don't bother just trying to play a bit just to improve their aim. They want to have a quick shortcut so they may able to buy a new mouse, or a new mouse pad, or a new monitor. Those things may help, but if you want to get good aim, you need to get good mouse control, and you get that by playing more. And, well, obviously, if you want to do it in Minecraft, the simplest way is to do it in Minecraft. And again, I said simplest, not best. We'll get to that later. But even then, it's more than just mouse control if you're just playing Minecraft. Like, you still want to know how players move, and, well, you get that by just fighting players. You just play more. So, that's pretty simple, and... If you want to get good in Minecraft, one thing you have to do is just play more Minecraft. It's pretty simple. Before we move on, though, I'll talk about some game modes on practice servers. They're pretty obvious, but these ones should be the ones that will improve your aim the fastest in Minecraft. And obviously, the first game mode is no debuff. You have pearls, you have to turn around to heal yourself with the pots. You have speed 2, so aiming is harder. In general, it's just, well, the best game mode in Minecraft to improve your aim. Although, I mean, this is the game mode that, you, that most people will be improving their aim to play, in general, so, I mean, it makes sense, obviously. This is basically the most aim-intensive thing you can do in Minecraft. Now, obviously, this advice is not that useful to those people who already play no debuff for hours a day, but to the people who play UHC or Bed Wars or other game modes with a lot of downtime and they want better aim, this is probably the best way to do it within Minecraft. Now, if you want to improve your tracking in Minecraft and nothing else, Gapple probably is the best way to do it, as in that game mode, there is even more uptime than a debuff, as instead of potting, you have your own Chan going apples they have to eat every now and then. And there are no pearls, you still have speed 2, so yeah, you don't have to turn out to pot or anything, and you can just keep fighting. And also, Gapple is basically the best game mode for training your CPS, as you're constantly clicking. Like in a debuff, you may stop for a moment to pot when you're purling like, momentarily, and you also may stop for a while when you're eating and when you're respeeding. But in Gapple, the only thing you stop for is the enchanted golden apple every 30 seconds, and maybe for a moment to replace an armor piece, and that's it. So, yeah. Now, in my opinion, the best way to improve your aim in general is to use Name Trainer. Simply due to the fact that you don't have to worry about anything other than your aim, there is no downtime at all, and you can always do something more, cha more challenging, as Minecraft Combat won't force you to improve your aim if you're playing game modes with a lot of downtime, such as UHC or Bed Wars, or, I don't know, even Sky Wars to an extent. A common argument I hear, however, is that because you have to constantly click in Minecraft, there will be little to no crossover on aiming ability. From what I can tell, this is false, because if you improve your aiming abilities, then even if your aim is worse due to clicking, 
which it always will be, of course. Improving your aim as a whole will still improve your clicking aim. Now, I use Kovac, but if you use a different aim trainer, you can try using similar scenarios, if they exist, to the ones I'll be using in a moment. The first scenario I'll be using is Close, Fast, Strafes, Invincible. This scenario, or other horizontal reactivity scenarios, are, in my opinion, the best way to train your aim for Minecraft Combat. Horizontal reactivity is basically the most important part of Minecraft Combat, as that's quite literally all you do. You're just reacting to pl a player changing directions, or, of course, knockback. Now, I'm not going to go on a long tangent explaining everything as to how this works, because I'm, I assume it's really obvious. This is very similar to how you end up aiming in Minecraft Combat, although obviously the bot changes direction a lot more, it's faster, and the hitbox is smaller than a Minecraft player's hitbox, but that's a good thing, obviously, because if you can deal with this, you can probably deal with a even like the best players who are absolutely nuts with their movement, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's basically all I have to say on this, although I will say that for most players, the scenario specifically is probably too hard, so you should probably try the easier version. And if you're really good, then you can try the thin version. So, yeah. I won't spend too much time on this, but the long strafes version is also quite good. It is a lot easier than the fast strafes version, but you also end up at the edge of your mouse pad quite often, which is another thing that's good to train, as this does happen quite frequently in Minecraft Combat, if your sensitivity isn't super high. Alright, so the next scenario on this list is Centering 2. The scenario is just a horizontal smooth scenario, very thin bot, it moves slowly, that doesn't change direction much, it's not that complicated, it's very simple. Um, the scenario is for, well, obviously, training horizontal smoothness, and Minecraft, Minecraft doesn't require smoothness that much due to the size of the hitboxes of players, but I still think it's good to train, just because smoothness generally helps with well, everything. So, you, just, you, you should still train it, but it's not as important as doing fast strafes is, because that's reactivity, and that's the main thing you need to be good at in Minecraft. So, yeah. And finally, the last scenario is target switching 360 static. This scenario is for horizontal speed target switching, which is what you end up doing when you pearl next to a player in a debuff, or really any game mode that has pearls. Target switching isn't that important in Minecraft, because you usually don't have to change targets that often, but you do something similar when pearls are involved, so it is still useful to train. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I could add a lot more scenarios to this list, but honestly, I'd rather not. Um, I mean, I could check out the, the video, but like, I personally think that just having a few good scenarios is good enough for Minecraft combat, as it isn't that complicated. Um, there's only a few styles of aiming to train, so you just grind it out, and yeah. Um, and obviously, this is all for Minecraft, not for other games. For other games, there are other routines and things out there, and other scenarios that are better. Um, these are just for Minecraft combat sp specifically, obviously. Um, and, uh, yeah. I will say, though, if you want to improve your aim within Minecraft and without using an aim trainer, just try to focus on your aim more. Like, try to be more aware of it. Like, notice what you're lacking in. Like, is your target switching pretty bad when, like, someone pearls next to you? Is your reactivity bad? Is your smoothness bad? Like, I don't know. Just try to pay more attention to it and try to, like, consciously fix what you lack in. So, yeah.